I'll tell you what let's do. Let's not stop at Robert E. Lee statues. Let's ban Gone with the Wind. Let's ban the book, and let's make sure the movie can no longer be purchased, rented, or exhibited anywhere. We will get rid of not just Robert E. Lee. We'll tear down anything that tells anybody where Gettysburg is and what happened there. Well, now, no, Gettysburg will stand. Gettysburg will stand, because that's where they had their lunch handed to them. So Gettysburg will stand. But we'll go all the way back to Lincoln. We'll take Lincoln's name off of Mount Rushmore, and we'll put Trump up there. I'm only kidding. But, I mean, let's do this. Let's get rid of all of these outward signs of the nation's injustice and unfairness. Get rid of everything so that American slavery is never known to have existed in any way. All monuments, all battlefields, all reenactments will be... Oh, yes, you... Well, oh, no, 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 we'll, no, we're, no, we'll get to the Native Americans because we've... No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't get ahead of me here. The Native Americans are not in the protest here. The Native Americans are not on the march here. When they, when they get in gear, then yeah, we'll deal with it. But what we will do, we will get rid of every outward sign of American evil, as defined by the left. I mean, if there is a restaurant with a Confederate flag logo, we close it. We shut down any restaurant that serves chicken fried steak that serves biscuits and gravy i mean anything that can be traced back to that evil heritage of the get get rid of all of it that would make everybody shut up right that would that would just silence everybody about the inherent evil of the united states related to slavery Make it disappear. And then everything would be okay, right? Ha, 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 ha. I hope you get the point here, folks. By the way, folks, there's all kinds of things. There are all kinds of things out there in addition to this story, and I do want to get some of them today, uh, rather than be totally devoted to this. Because this story is not going to go away either. No matter what Trump said today, there is th this is just the latest, um, most recent story that propels the get rid of Trump effort. And this will replace the Russian story and the Mueller investigation for a while. And perhaps a big while, because this, you know, identity politics, this is it. This is, a Dem this is what the Democrat Party has become. This is how they hope to win again and triumph. So this is going to be milked for all it's worth. Uh, Nathan in Lynchburg, Virginia, we head back to the phones. Great to have you, sir. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Rush? Very, very well. Thank you. Hey, I'm listening through WLNI 105.9 here in Lynchburg. Um, Charlottesville is 45 minutes north of me. And I want to answer your question. The mayor and the city council, they're the ones responsible. The same thing happened. The Ku Klux Klan came into Charlottesville to protest the same hey, thing. Hang on just a second. Responsible for having the cops stand down? Is that what you mean? They're responsible for the, the Heather Hare dying. They're responsible for this whole mess. Three weeks ago, the same thing happened. Three weeks to a month ago, the same thing happened. They got a, a legitimate right to protest. They went up there, the Ku Klux Klan, and they protested. But that time they had the cops in, in mass and in force, and um, they stopped them. And they stopped the, a lot of the violence still happened, but it wasn't nearly as bad as this. But this time around, they didn't do anything about it. They sat by, tear gas start coming. They abandoned their little post. The state police did. They abandoned where they were, where, where the safe zone was, um, and they just got out of the way of this mess. Um, at the end of the day, okay. Wait a minute. Why? I, I don't know. I think maybe if the FBI did their job and investigated some of the bank accounts of the mayor and the city council members, they might find out why. That's just, that's not... That's so you think thing. people were paid off to have the cops stand down? Your theory being that somebody wanted this to happen. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's a very liberal city. Uh, Charlottesville is one of the most liberal cities besides Richmond here in, in Virginia. And Virginia is a battleground state for these monuments being take, torn down and taken down. Um, as far as that's concerned, if you're going to eradicate history, then the Civil Rights Movement never happened. And therefore, every Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard that ever existed out there needs to go away as well. And let's just do, like you said, well, eradicate all see, of See, I, I, I thought people might misunderstand that. <laughs> when I said get rid of Gone with the Wind and get rid of the statues, I was <laughs> – you're, of course, right. If we did this, we would have to eliminate all of the things attached to it. And I was being facetious. Nobody will support it, even though that's why they're protesting. That was my point to try to illustrate. I'll explain further. We have to take a break. If tone should have hit a few seconds ago. There it is. Yeah, our last caller was very quick on the uptake there. Okay. Mr. Sturdley is afraid that if I don't explain this, the drive-bys will think that I was advocating that we scrub all African Americans from American history, which is, of course, not my point. My point was to illustrate that what the people are protesting for, they would oppose if they got it. They want to take down the Robert E. Lee statues, right? Why? Because it's a symbol of our horrid, racist, unfair, unequal, despicable past. Well, if that's true, why stop there, I ask. I mean, there's a lot more. Robert E. Lee was not the only one of them. There's all kinds of Beauregards down there and, and uh, any number of guys that have statues that have remembrances uh, and that have been honored as great military people. Even though they were fighting for the Confederacy, they have been honored as brilliant strategists or what have you. They were, they were dedicated to their cause. Uh, we've Gone with the Wind is a book and a movie that is practically a uh, what, what what's the correct word to use here? It, it's a it's it's a remembrance of the time we've lost. It was a romantic treatment of that era, uh, leading to the South's defeat. Got to get rid of it. Those people were over. They were, they were humanized. Why, those Confederate soldiers, they, they liked women and they proposed. They treated them with chivalry. They went dancing with them and they had dinner with them. You know, and they said, yes, ma'am. And they, they were all kinds of polite. You can't have that portrayed. These were people who were savages. Got to get rid of any, any, any reminder whatsoever of this horrid aspect in our past. That's what they're advocating here, are they not? Well, if you did that. There wouldn't be a single Martin Luther King Boulevard in this country. There wouldn't be a Martin Luther King. If you're going to eliminate that aspect of American history. And who would be the first to object if in the process, if you don't stop at getting rid of the Robert E. Lee statue, but you keep going, the very people demanding to get rid of the Robert E. Lee statues would be the same people saying, whoa, you can't do that. You can't get rid of Martin Luther King. Well, we got to get rid of Robert E. Lee. I mean, who came first here? And if we get rid of the guy that came first and anything came after him didn't exist either, did it? we got to scrub it all. You can't. You can't. The point is that, once again, the supposed highbrow, the supposed sophisticated, refined motivations for all of the anger and violence and hatred on the left – will not hold up to intellectual scrutiny. Because if you take it to its logical conclusion, at some point in that timeline, they're going to protest what you're doing. Yeah, we'll get rid of Robert E. Lee. But then if we start going further, at some point they're going to draw the line. And they won't permit it because there are certain aspects of this history that they cherish and they love, like Dr. King and any number of other associated heroes and heroines from that era. So that's the only point to illustrate that what they're claiming to be angry about, they actually would oppose if you went all in on this. Does that help them, Mr. Snertley, do you think? They're capable of understanding that. <laughs>